Let me welcome you once again. Here in this video, we are going to create certificate using Google Slides. So without wasting our much of our time, let's get going with the tutorial. So you have to reach Google Slides. You can reach there using a drive option. In the leftmost corner, you can see there's a new icon. Click over it and you can see there are three options, Google Docs, Google Sheets and the Google Slides. You can use Google Docs or the Google Slides for the creation of your certificate. Google Docs is the best alternative for the MS Word and the Google Slides is the best alternative for the MS PowerPoint. So let's get going with the Google Slides. So you can see it's just a replica of MS PowerPoint with some additional features. To make your certificate more attractive, you can just add some awesome themes which is being provided by the Google itself. So on the rightmost corner, you can see there is some themes and you can just scroll it down and choose the best theme for your certificate. I'm choosing this. You can change the background or adjust it according to your preferences using the change background option. So click it, click it over there and you can change the color also from here. You can also add an image, just click choose an image. You can insert image by, by uploading it from your PC or on the browsing over the Google. So let's click on the done. So you can see our theme has been changed according to my preferences. So now it's time to add some text to our slide. So let's get going. You can change the position of this title box using the cursors like this. Here's the option and you can change this position like this. And you can change the size using the dragging the cursors from down or the up accordingly. So this is how you can change the position and the size of the text box. Let's add some text in the subtitle box. Now you have noticed that I have done the name in the less than and the more than arrows. Why is it so? Because we have to send certificates to more than one people and for sending them at the same time, you can use a dynamic name. Here it means that this name is dynamic and it will change accordingly and it will be switched with the another values. So I added some text in the subtitle text box. You can change the position using the cursors like this. If you want to add some other text in some other uh, position, so you just, you can use the option of text box. Just create a box where you want to add text and just write it in it. Here I am adding the designation or the signatories because without the proper signatories, a certificate is just a piece of paper which is, which is of a list value. So this is how you can add a text box. Here's the option of adding the image also. You just have to click on insert image option. So just click it. You can either upload it from your computer or search it on the web. So I'm uploading from the computer. You can also crop this image using the crop image option. So just crop it. So 
and just to use the crop image you just have to enter just to use the cropped image you just have to enter enter so now you can use this cropped image i'm inserting one more image and uploading it from my computer itself i'm cropping the image accordingly enter now just adjust the position of it so this is how you can add the images you can also adjust the font and make the text more eye catchy for that you just have to select it the text you can change the font from here let's use an another font you can change the size and the for more features you have to click on the more option here's the various features like you can make it bold italic underline or change the color i am using a dark blue color option you can change the alignment also from here you can change the line spacing or you can add the numbered list you can also use the bulleted list from here or there is an another option you just have to select it go to the format here's the option for the text you can make it bold italic underline or change the size color or highlight this is how you can change in another option you can change the alignment and indentation also here's the option of line spacing numbering and the bulleting so this is how you can change the text on top of the text just select it make it bold bold italic and change the color the black changing the alignment from here you can change the size font size also you can change the font too now let's change the font of this Let's change the alignment. Let's change the position of this. So this is how our certificate looks. After creating the certificate, you have to save it for the future reference. By default, it is being saved in in your Google Drive. You can save it in your PC by just going to the file and here's the option of download and you can download in the whatever format you like or which suits you so i'm going with the pdf format just download write it so so this is how you can create your certificate let's see how a certificate looks you can see this is how a certificate looks before sending to your participants you just have to see the format because sometimes the font and the format gets dismantled due to some reason so you have to just check it out before using it so this is how our certificate looks and it's look quite good and we can use it for our future purpose so i hope you have understood these technical things needs a little practices so keep practicing thank you stay safe and stay tuned with odd particle